I did not accuse the government of being untruthful as alleged, and neither had I intended to accuse the government of dishonesty. I do not accept the overcharacterization the PAP MPs have put on my words and intentions, based on their own interpretation, born out of overactive imaginations and oversensitivity. By so refusing, her conduct falls short of the standard of integrity and honour expected of all members. I must therefore put the honourable member on notice, and the rest of the House too, that if she repeats such dishonourable conduct and abuse parliamentary privilege, I refer the matter to the Committee of Privileges. Why was it that The Economist came up with reports after the PM speech at the PAP convention to predict that the GST rate would be increased in this budget? Are they all dishonest and hypocritical? I begin the quote. If MPs believe that something is wrong, it's MPs' job to pursue the facts and make these allegations in their own name, decide whether something seems to be wrong, and if you think something is wrong, even if you are not fully sure, then come to this house, confront the government, ask for explanations and answers. This is a quote from Prime Minister Lee during the closing debate on 38 Oxley Road. So I'd like the leader to clarify. Is there a difference in standard here? One standard when the PM's name needs to be cleared and another standard when we're talking about raising taxes on the people? I would like to say that the conduct, her conduct falls well short of the standards of integrity and honourable conduct we expect of all members. And regrettably to say that it reflects the low standards which the member and her party have set for themselves with regard to commitment to truthful and honest debate in Parliament. But if the facts were wrong, and we have said that the facts were wrong, we had not had this plan of floating a balloons and then only to retract after public pressure, that's just plainly not existent. It's a figment of imagination. She should continue with this accusation, just like this, deeply disappointing and deplorable. Let me quote. Huh? We do know that in the run-up to the budget discussion, there were some test balloons being floated out about the fact that the government needs to raise revenue. And immediately, the public seized on the fact that DPM Thurman and perhaps other leaders had earlier said that the government has enough money for the decade. So the public pointed out that, hey, you know, is this a contradiction? And I rather suspect, I meaning Ms. Sylvia Lima, that the government is stuck with the announcement. Otherwise, you know, if their announcement had not been made, perhaps we will be debating a GST hike today, unquote. I don't think Minister for Finance was listening to my speech. I set out in my speech the basis for my suspicions. 